I'm going to draft the first form that's part of this mass. So if I change to the east elevation, I've already got the ridge line shown in here. I placed some reference planes just to locate the ridge line itself. So if I go to massing in sight, create an in-place mass, and I and I name it, I'm going to call it uh, Zimmerman House 01, ZH01, and I'm ready to start drafting. And uh, all I'm going to do is draw some line work here. Uh, I'm going to choose a plane that's parallel to the view that I'm looking at. I know that grid B is uh, one of the lettered planes that I can draft on. It really doesn't matter because I can move it later, but I just want to show you the process. So I know I'm drawing on a plane and I'm creating the closed sketch for my uh, house. I'm going to correct that in a second. But I'm just drawing a kind of a representative shape for my house. Just before I go any further, I'm going to take the a line and I'm going to pick the ground level and make sure that my bottom edge is lying on that on that plane. So if I now uh, tab to select all of that line work I'm ready to create a solid form and I can say create form solid and I'll flip to a 3D view so you can see it. I can hold the shift key down and spin around but using the mouse here and what I want to do is just show you how easy it is for me to drag this out in the direction that I want to take it. And when I see that it's aligned I can move it here. You know what I'm actually going to have to uh, change this a little bit so I'll show you how I'm going to change it. I'm going to take this and push it back and pull it forward until I see it aligned with that. And so the change I want to make is just looking at this, it really needs to come out a little bit further so that I catch the lowest point of the, uh, it's actually a master bedroom. So if I uh, flip to the left view here like this, and that's the north side, this is the south side, I'm going to pick this and say edit the profile. And I'm going to draw this out a little bit so that I don't... Uh, I have enough space. One other thing I'm going to do with that is I'm going to lock the profiles. If the profiles aren't locked then potentially what I what I get is something that uh, is not correct. Look, at it. I'll just switch to show you what I'm talking about. It's easier to see it than you see that the, the profile at the other end is different. So while I tab on this end I'm going to go up here and under the form elements I'm going to say lock the profiles. It means that it's... Ah, now I'm going to have to correct it again. I thought that was active. So edit profile. Ah, so at the end that I was at. So I'm going to pull this out so it extends beyond uh, the master bedroom there. And then I'm going to say OK. Because they were locked it's now the same on both ends. So with that I've made the first mass form and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to remove material from it to finish my building. Let's say finish mass.